Hello guys, today we'll talk about the term called magnetic nanoparticles. Magnetic nanoparticles basically is a nanoparticle which is prepared by a lot of techniques. First of all, what is a magnetic nanoparticles? These particles are basically, it can be natural or synthetic with sizes ranging from 5 to 100 nanometers and they have basically the property magnetic properties and these particles can be manipulated using magnetic field and such particles commonly consist of two components a magnetic material comprising the of iron nickel and cobalt and a chemical component that has a functionality behaving like a magnet while these nanoparticles are smaller than one micrometer ranging from 100 to 1 to 100 nanometers and the magnetic nanoparticle clusters are composed of a number of individual magnetic nanoparticles known as magnetic nanobeads ranging from any that has a diameter ranging from 50 to 200 nanometers now let's understand how these magnetic nanoparticles are basically prepared to prepare magnetic nanoparticles there are a lot of techniques available today as per the literature review we have co-precipitation we have hydrothermal we have pyrolysis we have microwave assisted uh, technique Co precipitation basically is the most widely used and most proper method for the synthesis of magnetic nanoparticles and it can control sizes and also the magnetic properties and these magnetic nanoparticles are used for biomedical applications because of the ease i mean less need for harmful materials and procedures and they are prepared these basically these magnetic nanoparticles are prepared from aqueous salt solution by the addition of a base under inert atmosphere and the co-precipitation co co process is shown for example, in the following diagram, we can see here. First of all, we'll be taking the, I uh, mean, the Fe2 plus or Fe plus 3. We'll be mixing this uh, solution and then we will be adding base, any base, either NOH, NH4OH, KOH, or some in papers you will see they, they add Na2CO3 and some other kind of also salts. And suppose after mixing this, we get precursor salt solution which will be having the pH from 8 to 12 and then we would be putting these nanoparticles which, which will be having magnetic and then we will wash them and then we will recover them and then we would characterize them using some techniques like SEM, TEM and other characterization techniques. As per certain uh, uh, mean papers, there are two main approaches for the synthesis of magnetic nanoparticles. Either we can take partially oxidized ferrous hydroxide suspensions, different oxidizing agents, and adding stoichiometric, stoichiometric mixtures of iron, any it's Fe plus two and Fe three in aqueous media, which will yield spherical magnetic particles that are homogeneous in size. And the size and shape of the iron oxide nanoparticles, that is Fe three or four, depends on the type of salt used. So we have to be very careful about what salts we are taking as a precursor. It would be ferric or ferrous and the pH value and the reaction temperature and the ionic strength of the media and other reaction parameters like stirring, how much speed we are stirring, the rate and the dropping of the basic solution. I mean, what's in what steps or which way we are dropping. We don't have to add, I mean, the base at once so we will be we have to be very careful by dropping of the base and the pH ranging should be 8 and 14 which is the expected range for complete co-precipitation and the stoichiometry ratio would be 2 is to 1 okay and in a non-oxidizing oxygen environment in addition by adjusting the pH and ionic strength of the precipitation media we can also control the mean size of the particles over one order of magnitude in the range between 2 to 2 and 15 nanometers okay now let's start the procession guys after ultrasonification of my activated carbon which is here so now what i will do i would now prepare my you can see here this is my two salts this is fe plus 3 this is fe plus 2 we can take the same folic chloride 
ferric chloride also both of them or iron nitrate iron nitrate so i'm taking here two different salts and the molar ratio is one is to one in literature you can find two is to one three is to one okay so let's start with the weighing so here i would take so the molecular weight here is 162.21 so i would take 1.62 gram of this one and then 3.99 gram of this one so we would weigh and then we will transfer and then we'll mix so for this i have added 50 ml so and this i will also dissolve in 50 ml so together it will be made in 100 ml of the you can say the liquid solution we transfer one is to one i mean the ratio of both salts so now let's go and mix this i will start to mix both the iron salts so we will probably mix for around 10 minutes and then we will start adding the one molar of NUH drop by drop and then simultaneously we will check the pH also and also we have to add the activated carbon here so it was around 5 grams so let's start mix first now I have already transferred the assorted or the mixed activated carbon here to the iron chloride or and the iron sulfate solution so now after a couple of minutes we will start adding the NUH drop by drop we can also add ammonium hydroxide, KOH or some other kind of mixtures also which will be used to elevate or raise the pH of the mixture. Now initially the pH is around 1.58 here so we have to elevate the pH around 10. So let's start adding the NOH drop by drop. Now you can see the pH is going up, so we will keep adding drop by drop till the pH is raised. And the notion of adding the NaOH is to raise the pH and also for the co-precipitation to occur. After the pH has been raised, we will transfer the whole mixture to the flask which is here and then we will transfer the whole the flask to the co-precipitation setup let's raise the pH we can skip this step and then we will show you after raising the pH we will show you transferring we have raised the pH till 10 we'll stop now and transfer the whole assortment to the flask here now also transferring the whole assortment here what we need to do is to fix some parameters here fix the temperature 55 you can change because these are reaction parameters they need they have a very very important role in the synthesis of the magnetic nanoparticles or nanoparticles now let me start since the stir is off we need to start the stir we will give and it's also stirring speed is also one of the main parameters i will give this around 800 rpm let us mix this whole assortment and also we need to continuously Flow the water so let's wait for 24 hours fuse our assortment after 24 hours and then we will dry and then see our final now after a constant continuous washing at the end we will wash by tone and then we will see the dried mass let us now dry it now i'll dry this at 70 degrees c for 12 hours we will set the temperature and then we will check our magnetic nanoparticles this is our dried magnetic nanoparticles you can see here it can be easily recovered or separated by the magnet so i'm putting a magnet here so this is easily being attracted you can see because our beam trapped the magnetic particles this is our finally prepared magnetic nanoparticles so in our next videos we'll be talking more about the characterization of the magnetic nanoparticles mainly about symptom and bt so don't forget to like and subscribe